What's going on guys, Ryan with Jedi Patrol back with another episode of Six Scale News. Let's get started. That's right guys, Ryan back with another episode 29. 20, episode 29 6 Scale News. Hope you guys are having a good day. We are going to be talking about some stuff today that honestly, I really don't want, I, sh I shouldn't have to talk about it, but we're going to have to talk about it. That includes not only some new releases by Hot Toys, some new announcements, but also some stuff that uh, went down. And we're talking about that Mark 85, Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, portrait. We're going we're to talk about that because there's some stuff going on in the community I'm not a big fan of right now. And, and I just think I just think we gotta have a chat about it. So let's just go ahead and get started. I've got the book. Hope you guys are doing well. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you love Six Scale News, you want to get up to speed on what's happening in the community. Uh, new announcements, stuff that's coming out. I know some stuff that's coming soon that I can't quite tell you about yet. But DC fans, DC fans, there's something coming for you soon. That's all I can tell. That's all I can say. Just saying DC fans out there. So uh, there we go. So let's get into the book, guys. Uh, yes. So just the other day, I dropped a video on my top 10 Mandalorian hot toys wish list. And I kind of I kind of ranked them. I didn't really rank them all that well. But I, my number one, if you didn't check the video, I'm going to spoil it for you. But you should go watch it anyways. It's actually, I'll put it up here. It, it's actually pretty good, I think. My number one wish my number one wish for Hot Toys out of all Mandalorian line was a Dave Filoni in the X-Wing suit uh, six scale figure. I just want that. We're gonna get Jon Favreau as the heavy Mando. I really want to have Dave Filoni represented on the shelf next to Jon Favreau for the amazing, ridiculously talented work those guys have put together. The writing, the directing, the, the casting, the, everything. About, they just nailed it, whether it's Clone Wars uh, or Mandalorian. Uh, I think they should be represented in six scale form. I really do. So I really like a Trapper Wolf uh, X-Wing suit uh, figure in the collection. You guys can let me know uh, what your thoughts are on that. But go back and watch that video if you haven't already. And uh, I asked you guys to like to rank your top 10, maybe your top five, however many you want to rank uh, figures you want from the Mandalorian series by Hot Toys. And uh, go check that out. But the reason I bring that up, one of the figures I wanted on there actually ended up getting announced the next day. That was crazy. Who knew? Maybe me. I don't. <laughs> I can't say. Those spies, man. Those spies. Um, but actually, on StarWars.com for Mando Mondays, there was this little little snippet way down at the bottom. If you scroll across the page, they had this little blurry photo of a transport trooper, and this thing. It, it, they didn't announce it. They actually said it was going to be announced at 4 p.m. on the Mando Monday. 4 p.m. came and went. And everybody's like stalking the websites going, where's this thing at? Where's this thing at? It, it didn't, it, it didn't show up. It didn't show up. Uh, but it finally did show up. Uh, Hot Toys actually announced it um, late last night or actually early this morning, depending on how you look at that. Uh, they, they released the uh, photos of that. And I'll take a look at the photos of this thing and talk about this just for a minute. And then we're going to move on into uh, the Marvel uh, Mark 85 community. Uh, just explosion of just saltiness out there. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about that. And then I got an extra special little tidbit of news at the end of the video. Uh, so let's go ahead and break out some of the photos. I got them right here, guys. Uh, the Transport Trooper. Now, first off, this is the Mud Trooper, essentially the Mud Trooper from Solo, and a Tank Trooper from Rogue One put together and painted olive drab green, or pretty close to it anyways. And um, I, I, I'm super excited about this. And the the potential to have another trooper in the collection, you guys know me. I, I just love buying different trooper variants. It's just a thing. Uh, other than uh, the the first order stuff, because I actually dumped all of my sequel trilogy figures uh, earlier this year, except for I have the Force Awakens Kylo and I have Ray and BB-8. And but the Ray and BB-8 was my first ever Hot Toys set I ever bought, so that will never leave. No matter how much I wish they would rewrite the sequel trilogy. Um, especially based on what we just saw in the last episode of The Mandalorian. So there you go. Um, that being said, we've got the transport trooper here. It looks amazing. The one thing I, I kind of note, you guys can let me know your thoughts on this. I think the head looks a little large for the body. And it, it could be the lighting messing with me. It could be the lens distortion, depending on what lens they use for this thing. Uh, but just the, it's and it might be the, the, those, um, 
jowl, I don't know, whatever those things are called. Uh, the, the, the parts that are coming down from the side, they're giving it some more width. They're, they're making it look a little large, and I'm sure it's fine. It's just, that's one of the first things that kind of struck out to me. I love the fact that they're even making this thing, so I'm not even gonna complain, but that's, that's just, I'm happy about it. But what I would really like to have, since you have the helmet, and you kind of already have all the parts, where is our Rogue One Tank Trooper? Where is it at? I mean, Black Series gave it to us in the, in the Vintage Collection, in the 6-inch Collection. I mean, all the... Where is it? Just just give us that one. I think more people, as much hype as, as around this particular figure, I think way more hype would have been um, in the community if they dropped the Rogue One Combat Assault Tank Driver. I think that would have just been crazy. But I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. I'm happy to get this one. I'm definitely going to get at least two. I might get more. I might get more uh, just because I like trooper variants. I think having two of them would be, would be kind of cool. So I'm probably going to get two of these. Um, included in there, we're going to have... It, it's a mud trooper body, guys. It just It's the mud trooper. It is... The only difference is the helmet essentially is exactly the flipping same. And I'm totally okay with that. Uh, not to have to deal with all those crazy tubes and hoses and whatnot from uh, the solo uh, film. I'm perfectly fine with that and I like the helmet and I like I just like everything about this so if, if you guys are gonna pick this one up check out collectors own I got a link down below they actually uh, have some deals going on right now so you can follow them use the code patrol at checkout save you some money and if you want to pre-order this they only have a limited number of pre-orders available and then they sell out it's just one of those things um, but so definitely check them out for that but in included inside the uh, tank trooper or transport trooper photos was this guy a freaking scare of trooper now this is super exciting for me for for a couple of reasons one the fact that they're going to give us more trooper variants which i just said i love trooper variants big fan of that um, but number two we're going to be able to add to our rogue one lineup via the mandalorian that's cool and i i do think i do think whenever these drop when it, whenever this figure gets announced and it's inevitable there's no way they put this figure in here in an official hot toys promo photos and we're not going to get this figure i just don't see that happening but when that happens the original scarab trooper is going to do like this in value it's going to go I, I don't think it's going to go down here but i, I do think it's going to it's going to go right by here i think it's going to think it's going to think it's gonna go here and because the paint apps are different so I think I think it's still going to hold value, and people are going to want the different variants of a freaking trooper. There's some people who are just going to want some desert beach style trooper like this guy, and there's some like me that want them all. And those people who want them all are still going to have to pay up for the Rogue One scare or a short trooper because it's rare, and people just aren't selling them. So I do think we're going to see a little bit of different price, but I think it's going to hold up. Yeah, I think it's going to hold it. But I really like this design. I love th these two together look fantastic, which makes me want to get two of each even more. Uh, so I will definitely be getting two of each minimum. Uh, that's definitely happening. And you guys are saying, well, why would you get multiples? Because I'm crazy like that, okay? Uh, super excited about this one. I, I just, I'm just happy. I'm happy about this. Cannot tell you how much, how happy I am. I just, I just really am. So there's one, actually, uh, there's one thing they haven't showed on here, and I'm hoping they actually display uh, this with the promo photos when they finally announce this Scarif Trooper. I don't know what they're gonna call this Trooper, because it, it, it's not actually on Scarif, so I don't know what the technical name they're gonna give this figure for the Mandalorian. It says Transport Trooper, um, but there's one accessory we gotta have, and it has gotta be the tray with the coffee cup, or, or the teacup, or whatever the heck he's, spotchka, whatever he's drinking here. I think if they miss out on that accessory, it's, it's, I'm, I'm gonna be sad. So, I just think that would be cool. I mean, I would display it like that, just for fun. Just to have a nice little joke on the shelf for a time period. Yeah, I, I, it ain't gonna happen, but. It would be fun though, right? I can't be alone in that. So we've got that. So we've got a transport trooper they're, they're gonna be dropping soon, and I don't know when, but very soon we're gonna see uh, this Scarif trooper. Oh, I don't know what they're gonna call it. I don't know what they're gonna call it, but we're gonna see this guy. And uh, I'm super excited about that. So uh, yeah, hype it up. So one of the things that uh, people were kind of salty about with the transport trooper is we didn't get any bill burr or pedro pascal or din Djarin, um uh, portraits for, with, with that figure and for it's the retail price on this one at sideshow is 220 dollars in the states so 220 dollars 
that's a solid price for a helmeted figure, I think. Um, if we had gotten the Pedro Pascal or even the Bill Burr portrait, that thing would have jumped up another 50 bucks. And while a lot of people would have been happy with that, a lot of people would have been happy that those people who want to army build it are stuck paying for that extra portrait. I don't really care. Uh, like I've said before, even when I had the Solo Mud Trooper, I never displayed it with the without the helmet on. It's a trooper with a, I just wouldn't. Even if I had the Mandalorian with the Pedro Pascal portrait right now, I would still display him with the helmet on. Now I know I, I'm not everybody, so I get it, I understand. Uh, but I do think, I do think there's a high, high probability that when we get a season two Mandalorian with all the best car plates, the, the thigh armor and everything on it, and the swoop bike and the, all the other stuff they're gonna drop out, uh, the spear uh, for season two, I do think we're gonna, we're, there's good odds we're gonna get a Pedro Pascal portrait. And then maybe you can put that portrait on this transport trooper. I think the odds are good. Um, I don't know that I would display mine with them, but I would welcome it because it's just another cool part to put on the display. But I do think there, there's a possibility there. I think that's happened. So um, we'll predict that now, I guess. We'll see how that goes. So we've got uh, Transport Trooper. We've got Scarif Trooper, for lack of a better term. Uh, the Pedro Pascal uh, portrait, we talked about that. Mythos Fett, okay? Just going back to the Mandalorian. The Mythos Fett by Sideshow, that thing's going crazy. It's like someone on eBay going for like 300 almost $400 for a, a freaking Sideshow Fett. Guys, please, 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 please do not do that. Number one, they're reissuing the thing. Sideshow has the license to make this Mythos Fett thing. They're gonna make four gazillion of them. It's just like the life-size child. There's no limited numbers. There's no uh, production run. If they start selling them, they'll just put it back up. Once it hits wait list and sells out, they'll put it back up for pre-order. They'll wait six months and you'll get another batch of them. If you are just that impatient, find one on, not on eBay. Just, just don't. It's 400 bucks for that figure. You're gonna be, uh, it's not worth it. It's not worth 400 bucks, guys. It's just not. Uh, they use a subpar body. It's just, as cool as the accessories are, it's just not worth that kind of money. So just be patient, get it for retail uh, because patience pays off, okay? So there's that. So I wanna talk about that. There's some other things we can talk about in the next episode, but I'll, I'll wait on that because I really wanna get into this guy. I really wanna talk about the Mark 85 Iron Man release. So it was just released on Monday, which if you didn't know, I call, I've been talking about this for weeks and I told you on Monday it was gonna drop so if you follow the channel, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, uh, in the Facebook group, Jedi's Patrol, I, I throw little tidbits of uh, spy news out there. And if you catch it, you'll know what's going on. And, and you, you can have an idea of like what's gonna be coming out soon. So spoilerific, um, there's a certain other Mandalorian gonna be coming out very soon. So just throwing that out there. But this guy right here, uh, super excited to have this one, super hyped. It's the definitive, I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call it, it's the definitive other than the battle damage one we got coming out very soon, which I'm pretty stoked for that one. This is the, the last Iron Man, okay? The last Robert Downey Jr. clean armor Iron Man before he goes down the snap and we get the battle damage version. This is, this is it. And uh, so the hype around this figure is amazing and it was going for crazy prices for the day one batch. I mean, literally, this thing was going for like $700 for the, on the reseller market for a day one pre-order, day one batch uh, of this figure, which is crazy. It's crazy. Um, people like Iron Man. I'll just throw that on her. So then people are getting the portraits, and the portrait is not exactly what people thought it would be. I guess, uh, I guess that's the best way I can put it. It's not exactly what people thought it would be. Uh, and then, so people were, were all salty about it and they're upset, you know, uh, Hot Toys, you tricked us, you, you did a bait and switch, you showed us one portrait and then you gave us another portrait uh, after we bought this thing and they're complaining that it doesn't look like Robert Downey Jr. and it's not as good as the Mark 46, the 47 and the 50, which essentially is the exact same sculpt, port, uh, paint, all that kind of stuff, um, exact same thing. And, um, and they're all, and they're just going crazy, and the internet has exploded. It's almost like a it's, everybody's hyped on Mando, and then Marvel comes around and just like everybody just the world has ended. It's crazy. So I'm okay. I, I gotta throw this out there. I'm totally okay with people not liking something. Like if you don't like the portrait, you don't like the figure, you don't like the movement on it, you don't like something about you don't like it at all. You just don't like it. That's okay. 
you are absolutely not required to like everything Hot Toys puts out, Sideshow, whoever. You're not required to like everything. You're not required to do that. But, but, because you don't like something doesn't give you the right to be a dick. It just doesn't. People this week were just that. They were just salty, mad at the world, and just cruel. Now, J.C. Hong uh, actually posted some photos of this uh, figure, the, the portrait and the, and the paint apps, all that kind of stuff on his Instagram page, uh, and who painted the original sculpt, uh, painted the prototype version of this, uh, this portrait. And, I mean, the, the ver uh, vitriol and venom and just hate that was left on his Instagram page and on the Hot Toys page in general as well uh, was completely unacceptable completely unacceptable the level of detail and of skill and work and awesomeness and quality and just everything that that fella has put together and painted and, and i'm looking at a whole freaking shelf full of stuff that he has done prototypes for completely unacceptable for the community to act in that way completely unacceptable so i i do not i'm not okay with that one bit not okay with it uh, I'm okay if you don't like it, and you can say, I don't like it, I wish they would have done this, I wish they would have done that, but personal attacks, and just spewing venom, and just, it's just, it's unacceptable, 100% unacceptable. If I've got any of those people on my channel, if you're one of those people who are just out there attacking people, and just spewing hatred, and, and this kind of stuff, is exactly what I'm talking about, feel free to unsubscribe, feel free to go somewhere else. That's how I feel about it. I don't need you here. Um, same with the Facebook group. If you're in my Facebook group and you're spewing that kind of crap, feel free to leave, okay? Because if I see it, you're gonna get the boot. That's just how it is, okay? You can disagree. I'm, poly I'm totally okay with that. You can disagree with me. You can tell me I'm crazy, whatever else. But when you cross that line, I got no time for that. Life's too short to deal with idiots, and I'm just not gonna do it. So uh, that's my piece on that. We're gonna talk more about it, but I wanna look at some of the, the photos of this and kind of rationalize this because I think there's more going on here that you need to understand, okay? So the people who got the day one release, they got this original portrait. Hot Toys just today announced that because of all the backlash and all the hatred and all the comments and everything, they are going to hold back the second batch, essentially, and they're gonna change the portrait and you're essentially gonna get the Mark 50 portrait I believe, okay? They haven't really announced it quite yet, but odds are good it's the Mark 50 portrait, which we already have seen four or five times, okay? So I'm not even, whatever. In addition to that, you're gonna get a portrait that doesn't even flip and look like Tony Stark in Endgame. I wanna show you. I'm gonna show you exactly what everybody's bitching about, and let's look at this thing. So I've got a photo here. This is actually the product photo. This is Alex Brooks' photo. And uh, Alex just nails the photos every time for them. So he, he just does a fantastic job. But there's Tony, okay? Now, you, you, you can, let me see how I wanna say this. You may not like the expression, or you may not like the way the eyes are looking, or you may like something like that, but that's a subjective thing, okay? So there's that. Uh, but let's, let's look at this, this portrait right here. Number one, again, Alex, fantastic photos, brother. Uh, just super jealous of the skill level this fella got. It's, it's crazy. Um, but I actually pulled some photos. Uh, these are, again, another photo of him uh, of uh, this new portrait on the Mark 85. It looks like Tony Stark, I think. It looks like Robert Downey Jr. in Endgame. And I'm going to prove it to you in just a minute with some photos. So let's look at this thing. Uh, let's look. Here it is on display at Secret Base. And there we go. Now, the, the, the final product is not going to be as crisp and as detailed as a prototype, okay? So you gotta give that a pass a little bit, and I'm okay with that. But, once we look at these next photos, here we go. This is a screen grab from uh, Avengers Endgame, uh, towards the end, obviously. To look at this, Robert Downey Jr. is notably skinnier, he is notably older, he, is no he has had a bad blip, as they called it in Far From Home. Uh, he, he had a bad time, I mean, he literally almost died on, on the ship, uh, in the beginning of Endgame, and he was incredibly malnourished and skinny and just not looking all his best, and he aged quite a lot in that. 
and you can see it here even though it has been a few years and he's eaten some food and he's gotten healthy whatever but he's definitely older here okay here's another one this is actually the mark 50 portrait that they kind of tease us with in the beginning uh, versus the one we got it is definitely different no question all right no question but look at the hair let's see if i can go to this next one let's back let me get back up here look at the hairstyle on what he actually looked like in game game versus the figure we got the mark 50 sculpt doesn't match that hair doesn't match he's he's too young he's too healthy if you will uh, on that figure and uh, the Mark 85 portrait there we're getting uh, for that figure, or we, at least we were getting with the Mark 85, um, looks more accurate to me. To me. Now, you can absolutely disagree with me, and you can comment down below. That's fine. Just play nice. That's all. What I said earlier, I mean it. Play nice. Um, and we don't, have the dis we don't have to agree. It's okay. But this is, what I'm, this is what I'm looking at. I'm looking at, he's got the gray uh, going on down the sides. He's definitely got the age going on. He's got the hair going the right direction for the film. I, I don't see the issue. I really don't. If you expected them to have a, a Robert Downey Jr. from Endgame, 100% portrait and shrink it down to six scale form, and you were just gonna have Robert Downey Jr. on your shelf. I mean, I get it but it might not be super this is this is a closer version of that than the mark 50 portrait i think um here we go again i, th I you know is it 100 percent? no it's a, it's a it's a action figure guys it's six scale it's not 100 percent. however in my opinion it's more accurate to the film than the sculpt they showed us okay that's my opinion Okay, so here's the thing with this. Because Hot Toys uh, essentially said, we will listen to you guys, which is 100%, I'm all, Hot Toys listen to the community, that is awesome. Every, every uh, collector wants their uh, manufacturers or their creators to listen to them, that's fine, I have no problem with that. Um, because Hot Toys listen to them, they're holding the second batch, they're gonna change the portrait that everybody else in the States is gonna get, because we're all gonna get the second, third batches, okay? So there's that. Um, and the first batch ones have the option, if you want, to exchange it. Now, they haven't laid out the plan as of recording this, they haven't laid out the plan for the exchange yet, but in, I believe you're just gonna have the, show your port, your uh, invoice or whatever where you bought it, have the portrait, and they'll exchange it for you for this, whatever one they come up with, if, if you so choose. Which means the day one pre-orders, the day one orders that have this other portrait, the older Tony Stark portrait, uh, there's not gonna be many of those out there. I predict, I'm gonna call it now, I'm gonna predict that this, this day one portrait, this figure is gonna go, it's gonna skyrocket value. That's my, that's my prediction, because there's gonna be few of them. Now here's, here's the bad part about this. Here, here's the bad part. Because those people, who are getting the day one orders, okay? Who, who got those day one orders, okay? Uh, they have those portraits and they might be happy with them. Uh, by the way, I do have mine coming in from Pop Collectibles and I have that portrait and I'm keeping it. I'm not gonna exchange it. That's, I don't, I haven't seen it yet, but just based on photos, that's what we're gonna see. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. When mine comes in in the next day or so, I will unbox it, I'll show you guys and I'll give you like my final analysis. But as of right now, I'm cool with keeping it. I'm gonna display it with the helmet on anyways. But the people in the that are weren't on the day one order or the day one orders, they're getting the second, third, fourth batches, whatever many they make of these things. If somebody, one of those people, wanted this older Stark portrait and they didn't want another Mark 50, they're screwed. They're screwed because a bunch of people went and gotten salty and rude and whatever and attacked Hot Toys and made their voices heard, which is fine. Okay. I don't care if you make your voices heard, just be nice about it. And uh, they're not even gonna have the opportunity to have this other portrait. So, that sucks. What if they really wanted that one? What if they really like this one versus the other one? They're not gonna have the chance. So uh, there's, you know, this is a thing that happened in the community. It, it is what it is. The worst part about this whole thing is the fact that there are a small number of people, actually not so, a larger number than should have been, uh, number of people who were just absolutely cruel and just complete dicks. There's no other way to put it. Just is what it is. 
and that is not cool that is not that is not the community that is not that's not what it should be okay it's just not uh, if you were one of those people, you owe them an apology. That's my opinion. Now, whether or not you do that, that's up to you. But uh, that's what I think. Um, so I'd like to hear from you guys. Let me know your thoughts down below on this little bit of a rant. But I think we got to discuss this. And I think it's okay to not like something that's produced. You have the option to not buy it. That's fair. Um, you have the option to cancel an order. Let's say if you got somebody with a, a deposit, you lose your deposit. That's part of collecting. It is what it is. Uh, and you just... You're out 25, 30 bucks, whatever that is, but you're saving another 300 or 400. So that's fine. Uh, just don't be super cool about it. Be thoughtful, be clear, make your arguments. Be nice, that's all. Uh, and make your decisions what you wanna do. Now, I do have a couple things coming on with the channel, just so you know. Uh, December 25th, which is Christmas here in the States. Uh, December 25th, I am dropping the updated collection video. So there's that. I know people have been asking and asking and asking, and I've been talking about it. December 25th, Christmas present for you guys. Um, we're going to have a collection update. Should be super fun. I was kind of hoping the Mark 7 would be here, and it's still floating around Maryland somewhere. I do have the Mark 85 we've been talking about. That is inbound. Definitely got that coming in. I've got uh, John Wick, which just arrived yesterday. I've got him unboxed, and uh, he probably will be part of that video as well, even though I'm giving him away. And um, Iron Spider PS4 is coming, Death Trooper is coming from Mandalorian, and uh, something else that I can't really quite tell you about just yet. Can't tell you about it just yet. So that's pretty cool. Also, if you want, if you haven't already subscribed, number one, do that. If you haven't joined the Facebook group, do that. If, if you're looking for some cool, just a gift or something. I've designed a, a, a fun little t-shirt for you guys. You can check it out right here. It says, it's got a little, a little JP on the on the front pocket area. There are multiple color variants available with this. If you want it, I'll put a link down below. It's on Teespring, it's easy. Uh, but it says collector. And it says someone on their way to becoming a hoarder with the help of their friends. Hashtag blame Jetta. There you go, guys. So if you want something cool to uh, sport around in, I've got a lot more stuff coming out as far as uh, different shirts and hats and all kind of stuff coming out soon. Uh, that's just so something fun uh, if you want to uh, want to pick one up. There are different color variants. There's hoodies and white, black, blue, green, all that kind of. There's all kind of stuff in there. Check it out down below if you want to do that. If not, that's okay too. But that's what we're going to talk about, guys. That's that's what I got. Uh, I'm hoping to get some figures being delivered because the postal service right now just kind of is. They're just <laughs> drowning, for lack of a better word. And um, you just got to wait on them. So that's all I got. I'm going to close the book. Close the book. Hope you guys, if I don't hear from you, see you till then. Hope you have a very Merry Christmas. I hope you guys uh, are stay safe out there. If you travel with family, have a good time, eat some good food. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Collect what you like. See you next time. <laughs>